everyone welcome back to another video it's halizzle in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my easter overlook bay routine and it's a little bit different but still the same to my regular routine but i thought that i would show you guys in today what i usually do when i first log into overlook bay make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video So the first thing that I do is I usually take out a pet and I'm still working on my dandelion. The first thing that I do is I take out a pet and I get my food and my water bowls ready just because whenever I'm leveling up a pet, I want to make sure that I can come back home and easily just level up my pet. The next thing that I do is I go to the city and I luckily did not do any tasks today guys the next thing that i do when i get into town is that i take out i should have just done this in the baiting honestly <laughs> i take out my rainbow shiny celebration dragon marshmallow and i go to the wishing well because i try to make sure that i make a wish every single day because you never know what you are going to get um the cool thing is that i actually got the easter chick on my free wish so that's pretty cool Cool. I also got 25 wishes just from the pet wheel inside the pet shop, which is pretty awesome. All right, so we got a silver pet pod, and I like to keep these because whenever there is a new pet in the pet pods, it's always great to have these saved up so that you don't spend like tons of money and stuff buying them. To do when I'm in Overlook Bay is I like to take out my next mythic pet, which is Cotton Candy, our rainbow shiny ladybug. And I'm still working on my regular shiny one and just my other ones loving those up but the next thing that i like to do is i like to shake all the fruit off the trees and i like to make sure that i have my ladybug out it looks like i see like an easter egg right there but i'll probably end up doing that too after this and that is my next task or maybe seashells i don't know i have like so many things that i like to do but to make this video not super long i am actually going to be doing everything in one so for example i'm going to shake the fruits off of these trees so once we are done collecting these i'm going to go over here and pick up my easter egg after i'm done shaking the fruits off the trees and collecting seashells i will go ahead and look for the others if they are not like in my sight just like that one was so i like to make sure that i am not making like double or triple trips around the map just because the map is super huge and I want to make sure that I am doing everything in the area as much as I can. Without making this video super long, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this video. guys so usually whenever i am doing the fruit tasks as well as like the seashell tasks sometimes i will get pet tasks so i will usually quickly um do those in the middle of collecting everything and digging up these fossils so right now i am collecting seashells and i'm also digging up these fossils just because i want to make sure that i get money for these as well so it looks like there's going to be an easter egg right here i'm going to go ahead and collect that and to be honest with you guys i didn't know that you can actually get the beach tasks done in this area i usually go to the big beach
part guys so usually when i'm here um i know that the seashells are right next to this fruit tree right here but i usually come back for those later on i see an easter egg over here so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and then usually when i get like a work task which i'll probably get in the next overlook bay day i will end up doing that as well okay so i just remembered i forgot to check in front of the school if there's an easter egg because there's usually one that spawns right here on this bush but i don't see any right there so i'm gonna go next to pizza and as you guys can see we can see a easter egg right here so i want to make sure that i pick that up um let me go to the next fruit tree which is going to be right next or actually no it's behind the coastal cup so i'm gonna go ahead and check these fruit off the trees as you guys can see i have a lot of pet tasks so usually what i'll do is i will place my house down in this plot right here just because i feel like it's close to everything and i'm gonna go ahead and take care of my pet tasks The reason why I like to do all my pet tasks during my regular tasks is because I'm also trying to age up pets. As you guys can see, um, my cotton candy is almost to level four. And because you also get paw badges whenever you finish a pet task. And when you get paw badges, you can spin the wheel in the pet shop and you can get wishes and even more gems, which I like doing. In fact, the pet wheel is the way that I make the biggest gems, if that makes any sense. Like, I make the most gems by spinning the pet wheel and to do the pet wheel you have to like level up your pet so that is why I have a pet out and also because in our daily tasks right here we also have like pet paw badges like we have to earn this much by leveling up our pets as well as um, earning pet experience so these are some of the few tasks and then also I get this one automatically because I'm playing the game
right guys so that is going to be the end of this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed i made sure to do all my tasks make sure to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to check out the new eatster merch in my roblox group i will leave the link in my description box and i will see you guys next time bye